hello welcome back to my weekly vlog i just came on here to show you guys what i just got in the mail today so first i got this udi it's this giant blanket hoodie like it's literally so soft and thick perfect and keeping you cozy i don't know if you guys can see me because i'm using the back camera but it also has these pockets oh my gosh i just posted a tiktok unboxing everything but i need to show youtube too so it's like literally a dress like so cozy and then i got this amazon workout top i have it underneath might surprise a few but it's this workout top it looks amazing i'm a 32c for reference and i got it in an extra small it's amazing it's amazing. I have it listed in my description box below and on my Amazon storefront. I just got PR from Kiehl's. I went ahead and opened it all up, but I'll show you guys everything that I got. We're going to switch the camera around though. So I took them out of their boxes and placed them back in here for you guys. But this is what the package looks like. It's their new Ultra Pure Serum line. All 10 ingredients are less fragrance-free, colorant-free, and suitable for all skin types, including sensitive. I have oily skin, sensitive, acne-prone skin, so I'm super excited to try all of these so first of the year we have the niacinamide they said it's oil minimizing and i have oily skin so i am super excited to try this five percent niacinamide it instantly reduces excess oil by 58 percent and after a week 92 percent of people who try this agreed that their skin felt soothed then here we have their hyaluronic acid serum it's 1.5 percent again they show the statistics instantly boosts hydration by 89% and after a week 83% agree that their skin looked replenished then we have their glycolic acid I've never tried glycolic acid before I think it's good for acne um, but this is 9.8 glycolic acid instantly 83% felt refined texture and after a week 98% agreed that their skin felt softer so i'm super excited to try that i've never tried glycolic acid before then this i've always wanted to try because i've heard only good things about it for years through youtubers influencers um so this is the creamy eye treatment with avocado in it don't have an eye cream that i'm using right now so i'm super excited to add this to my routine then we have the ultra facial cream this is basically a moisturizer but a very luxurious moisturizer it's a 24 hour daily lightweight hydrating formula for healthy looking skin with glacial glycoprotein so i'm super excited to try that and then lastly they sent me the creme de corps body lotion it's a super luxurious <laughs> body lotion and it's super good for dry flaky skin excited to try that as well you can purchase the entire kiehl's collection at sephora these new serums here the ultra pure high potency lines they're all priced at 35 dollars each clinically proven results in just one week which i'm going to try see how that goes so at the end of this vlog i'll let you guys know what i think about them it's going to be a completely honest review um they sent this to me no strings attached i didn't even need to post about them just completely a gift um but i'm super happy that they did and i can't wait to try this i've wanted to try their brand for so long now so thank you so much keels i'm very grateful and i can't wait to try all of it and to share with everyone what my honest thoughts on them are and I think this is really cool. If you want to learn more about your skin with Kiehl's services, you can receive an expert skin analysis in minutes by scanning this code right here. I'm surprised that it's a skull, but you can scan that and then you can take a skin analysis within minutes. You can use your photo or you can book an appointment. So I just thought that's very interesting and nice of them to have that kind of option for you. And on top of that, I've always wondered how I should use serums. What can I use together? What goes on first? What should I do? You know, and I've always been scared of mixing serums. I like how they tell you how you can use all three of them together. So you can zone treat your face by just applying the niacinamide to areas that are prone to oiliness and breakouts. So like your T-zone, for example, and then glycolic acid, you can apply that to areas prone to roughness. So like my cheeks has a lot of texture on it. Then you can put hyaluronic acid all over your face to hydrate it. So I love that they can put this little formula together for me to try. It makes everything so simple. And then obviously I can put on moisturizer and eye cream on top of that. Amazing. I'm waiting for her to finish drinking water so she can come to bed and take her vitamins.
Are you ready? feel like I'm missing out. <laughs> That's $45. This is why we sell out. Okay, I have my little one. Hello guys, it's a new day. Um, I just got this new pixie lip glow thing. I'm putting it on. I'm about to exercise. I haven't exercised in like three days. I don't think I like this. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna put this on top. I also got this from Flip. This I like. Anyways, I'm about to exercise because it's been a hot minute since I did. So I'm gonna exercise using my new workout top that I'm wearing right now. I also got this new cropped zip hoodie on clearance from Target. And then I have food here ready to eat right after I work out because I know I'm gonna be starving. I have like a ton of sausage and some green beans. <laughs> All right, let's go work out. So I'm getting ready to eat my noodles right and then I'm gonna work out soon after but I just enrolled in Aceable <laughs> so if you don't know what Aceable is it's a like website or like a course for Texans to I don't even know if it's for Texans but it's a course to get your driver's permit if you guys know I'm always a passenger princess but it really isn't by choice I just don't know how to drive so my husband drives me to and from work every day if I ever need to go anywhere he needs to drive me so it was in my new year's resolutions last year to get my driver's license um so I don't have to rely on him anymore I'm a homebody, but I still need to get my daily dosage of going out all the time. Like, I love going out, but I don't really like socializing, but I love going out. So every week I need to go out, but he is a homebody 100% inside and out. Like, he does not like going out. So I am going to finally, this year, get my license. Like, I need to. I'm 20, I'm going to be 26 this year. I better have my license. And then I could just do whatever the heck I want. Freedom. Um, yeah, so <laughs> wish me luck. Yeah. You guys, so I was literally freaking out because all of a sudden I smelled like burning plastic or like spray paint or like the smell of paint. And I was like, is is there a wire melting or something? Is something in, on fire? And I just couldn't get 
I couldn't pinpoint what it was. They called my husband over. I'm like, dude, help me figure out where is the smell coming from. It's the yoga mat. <laughs> it's her new yoga mat. It smells awful. It smells like burning plastic or like paint. Like, wow. <laughs> but at least now I know what it is. It's so strong. See if there's a dog and there's monkeys on bunny. First, let me do around and around because said the round and the round is not bad. So I could do that because he said not bad when I do a circle around the kitties. Mm -hmm. So you say not bad when I do the circle rounds on everything. Well, when I say not bad, it's when you trace the lines really well. <laughs> Tablet. Oh, a coloring tablet. Yeah. What? The button makes it turn off on the coloring. Oh, yeah. And it even has a real blue pencil. Look at Jordan has this, right? Mm-hmm. But look at Jordan got a uh, orange one and a blue one. That's Bubble's favorite color, right? Because he have a whole shirt of it. That's his two favorite colors. Mm -hmm. Orange and blue. But who was blue to bread? People love blue. I love pink. Mm, pink too. Mm -hmm. What about daddy? Your daddy? Loves green. Oh, he does, doesn't he? Yellow. Oh, she loves yellow? Uh-huh. Oh, you take a picture of me tracing? No. But why? I'm just holding my, I'm just holding this phone. But this looks like a little bit like a camera picture. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? And we actually went to the mall today. I didn't buy anything because I've been really good. Um, but I just needed some mall therapy. But I came back home and it's just been a pretty hectic play day. My little girl is actually on an iPad detox right now. So she's been playing with a lot of toys lately. But as you can see, the house is a mess. This was completely clear. Everything was off the floor last night. This is what it is now. Hello, mom life. So we need to get cleaning. Rose, do you think you could help me a little bit at least? She said no. This is the state of my desk right now. Definitely need to take care of that too. bingo session what is it rooster A rooster no my turn it's a goat i don't have a goat do you have a goat yeah oh okay I how, how are you almost oh <laughs> Hold on. did i miss out on something oh then that means you won there you go details of the day 
So I just got my lashes filled. That's what they look like. Absolutely in love. I'm sitting at Starbucks right now waiting for my husband to come pick me up. And we're all going to go to the mall next. Yay. Oh yeah, that's a good start. <laughs> so I just tried washing my Lululemon Charge Feels. Um, I just kind of just gave it a scrub with my scrub mommy and now I have it sitting in the sun. We're gonna go on a nature walk now. All right, little girl. Are you sure you don't want to bring your bubble maker? It's the perfect weather to bring it. Try to walk. That feels nice. Tell everybody bye. Thanks for watching. Hello, you guys. So I'm about to end the vlog here, but I forgot that I needed to give you guys my final thoughts on the Kiehl's products that I've been trying throughout this week. I think it's been a solid week. I think they really do work. So I actually scratched my whole skincare regimen and have been using only Kiehl's products and I followed their little recipe. I've been putting niacinamide only on my oily parts, which is my T-zone right here, and then a glycolic acid where I have any texture, which I honestly have texture all over my face, but especially on my cheeks. So I've been putting them on here and then I put hyaluronic acid on my entire face after to hydrate and then I go in and follow with, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to put one on before the other, but I don't know what it is and I just do whatever I feel like that day um i go in with their moisturizer this is their ultra facial cream and then their creamy eye treatment with avocado that's what i've been doing and i'll put a little comparison here we can see um compared to the beginning of the video let me turn on this light here so that you could see a little bit more but i'm pretty sure i had like a breakout on my chin and it has definitely calmed down and again i haven't been doing anything except keels like i scratched my skincare i use the same face wash and all that but in terms of like toners and serums and all that i have just been using keels i just put on niacinamide now i'm going in with the glycolic acid yeah my texture is still there but i do think it has improved especially on my chin here i don't know about my cheeks yet um but my chin for sure and i noticed when i do all of this all like the three serums and the moisturizer and the eye cream and then i do like my regular makeup routine my makeup sticks more um and it looks more glowy and dewy um this morning i actually only put on the serums and forgot to put on the moisturizer and eye cream and i didn't realize until later when my makeup was actually not looking that great today um i don't know what it could be but the only thing that i did differently was i forgot to put these two on and maybe I didn't put on a lot of powder today and I have oily skin and the weather's hot. So that could have played a factor. But on the other days, like this entire week when I put everything on, my makeup looked pretty good, honestly. Now I'm going in with the hyaluronic acid all over the face. My only downside to this is I don't really like the droppers. I feel like it doesn't really pick up much product or maybe I'm not using it quite right like you really have to pump it inside the bottle to pick up product like you have to pump it maybe like five times to fill up the actual pump part it gets really sticky and i think that's why it makes my makeup really stay sorry guys i'm trying to rush because i want to finish the vlog for you guys and not like waste your time <laughs> And then I go in with the moisturizer. A little goes a long way with their products. I think their moisturizer is probably the main thing that made like my makeup really good all throughout the week. Like I think it's like the perfect primer for anything that goes on top of it. Then I'm going in with the avocado eye cream. I really like this too. I feel like it really hydrates and plumps the eyes. I don't feel a tingliness, but it's very like thick and smooth and creamy. I don't know feels amazing and that's what i've been doing uh, i wanted to add retinol today i'll do it some other day <laughs> anyways if you've made it to the end of this video thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next weekly vlog bye we can see um compared to the beginning of the video let me turn on this light here so that 
you could see a little bit more but i'm pretty sure i had like a breakout on my chin and it has definitely calmed down and again i haven't been doing anything except keels like i scratched my skincare i use the same face wash and all that but in terms of like toners and serums and all that i have just been using keels i just put on niacinamide now i'm going in with the glycolic acid yeah my texture is still there but i do think it has improved especially on my chin here i don't know about my cheeks yet um but my chin for sure and i noticed when i do all of this all like the three serums and the moisturizer and the eye cream and then i do like my regular makeup routine my makeup sticks more um and it looks more glowy and dewy um this morning i actually only put on the serums and forgot to put on the moisturizer and eye cream and i didn't realize until later when my makeup was actually not looking that great today um i don't know what it could be but the only thing that i did differently was i forgot to put these two on and maybe i didn't put on a lot of powder today and i have oily skin and the weather's hot so that could have played a factor but on the other days like this entire week when i put everything on my makeup looked pretty good honestly now i'm going in with the hyaluronic acid all over the face my only downside to this is i don't really like the droppers i feel like it doesn't really pick up much product or maybe i'm not using it quite right like you really have to pump it inside the bottle to pick up product like you have to pump it maybe like five times to fill up the actual pump part it gets really sticky and i think that's why it makes my makeup really stay sorry guys i'm trying to rush because i want to finish the vlog for you guys and not like waste your time <laughs> And then I go in with the moisturizer. A little goes a long way with their products. I think their moisturizer is probably the main thing that made like my makeup really good all throughout the week. Like I think it's like the perfect primer for anything that goes on top of it. Then I'm going in with the avocado eye cream. I really like this too. I feel like it really hydrates and plumps the eyes. I don't feel a tingliness, but it's very like thick and smooth and creamy. I don't know feels amazing and that's what i've been doing uh, i wanted to add retinol today i'll do it some other day <laughs> anyways if you made it to the end of this video thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next weekly vlog bye